He knows I can drop it like it's hot. Shablam! talking about the movie Dollface, which is actually known as Dorchester's Revenge, The Return of Crinoline Head. So this is actually a sequel uh, to the movie Crinoline Head, which was a, a low-budget kind of slasher spoof movie. So um, kind of been repackaged as, as, uh, as Dollface, and you can pretty much watch it as a, uh, a standalone movie. It does kind of recap some, uh, some events from the first movie. And... Um, so this is a low budget movie and the first one was a spoof uh this one i feel plays it very kind of like it isn't a spoof i would say this this film doesn't play like a spoof but it certainly falls into these typical kind of like slasher cliches even though i feel it thinks it's a spoof but it just comes across as a very tried and tested slasher movie anyway so the story here basically we have this um this kid who has uh very kind of oddly close relationship to his mother and uh, she basically is a kind of doll repair or doll maker or something and uh, she dies basically and that basically messes him up and he becomes this kind of masked serial killer uh, you know years later and we have this kind of bunch of kind of college students to suddenly they want to do uh, research and a bunch of you know urban legends and things like that so they go to this kind of particular area where this kind of uh, these killings happened and uh, there's a caretaker, caretaker there, played by a certain screen queen. Anyway, and obviously, inevitably, the, uh, the the killing start, and that's pretty much your your, your movie there. So um, this was an odd one. It is a very low budget film, and it is it's, it's riddled with cliches. It really is, but it's oddly entertaining. Um, this is a real, I guess you would call it a guilty pleasure. I would say. I mean, I'm not going to kid you. This is the low-budget film, and it really does do the whole kind of gambit of tried and tested uh, slasher um, cliches. I mean, and like I said, the first movie was, uh, you know, a spoof. I, mean, I guess with an own crinoline head, you're really going to expect it to be. Uh, but I don't feel this. This film isn't really comedic. It doesn't have jokes and stuff or parodies and things like that. So I, I really struggle to call this movie a spoof because it feels like it, it's not exactly taking itself seriously. It's certainly a tongue-in-cheek film, but it doesn't. It's not made as a, uh, a comedy. It's made as a more or less a straight horror film, but with kind of just really going over the the cliches. But it almost defeats the object of having it as a joke. If that, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm making sense in this review, but anyway. Um, the kills themselves for a low budget movie I have to say are quite effective but I kind of like the characters I've got to say I have to say the, the characters that we have here in the actual the kind of group of kids I kind of liked them I kind of like these characters I felt they were somewhat um, uh, somewhat likeable and uh, even though they're kind of their, their stock sort of archetypes nonetheless I felt they were all kind of like or well, most of them at least were quite in, engaging and, and and that maybe acted in a way that just made them likable. Even the kind of the ultra bitchy girl. I mean, she's so bitchy that you can't help but like her. <laughs> I didn't think the performances were for most of them were too bad either. Um, there are a few plot holes here, and I say a few plot holes. There's loads of plot holes in this movie. Uh, particularly, I would say if this killer has been on this one site for all this time, how come the caretaker is still there, played by certain scream queen? Anyway. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that, basically. Does that really make sense? This film is just a bizarre, cheap slasher film that kind of is certainly a bit of a tongue-in-cheek film and doesn't take itself too seriously. Loads of cliches. It's not going to blow your mind, but it's kind of fun. I've got to say, I kind of had fun, movie, fun watching this film, even though it really is crap. So, with that in mind, I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. It's not a great film. It is not a great film, but I had fun with it. I enjoyed it. It has a good sense of fun. There's some inventive kills. It's just a bit silly. It's a silly bit of fun. Anyway, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.